Hi, I'm Chris Husted from Review Your Gear. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slow death walleye rig. And not just any rig, it's going to be a slow death hook with a few beads and a smile blade. So to do that, the first few things is you need quality components if you're going to make a solid rig. I use Berkley XT Trilene for all my rigging. This is a green line for the demonstration purposes, but I always use clear in 10 pound test. For the hook, I'm using a VMC spin drift hook. That has the swivel on the top of the hook. I feel that's very important to prevent line twist. Okay, and then we'll add a few beads and a max smile blade at the top. Uh, I like to add blades onto plain slow death hooks Basically when there's dirty water, cloudy conditions, uh, just kind of mix it up from time to time. Sometimes they want the blade, sometimes they don't. So to do that, it essentially comes down to two knots. You have your trilene knot down on the bottom and the hook, and then you have your overhand knot at the top to make the loop, which you attach to a bottom bouncer or whatever weight you use. So to do that, if you know how to make a trilene knot, you could fast forward. Otherwise, you essentially can follow along. So we're going to push that line through the loop. Can't believe I missed that. And then once you push it through, you come back through another time. And then you'll have a loop that you pinch with your thumb. So you just made, made it through one time and back through another. And then from there, you take your line, your tail end, and you wanna wrap it six times. Okay, once you run that, you then put the line back through both of the loops. If you see there, you're going to have two loops. Push that through. Pinch the knot. I always wet my knots. There. You have a nice solid trilene knot. From there, I'm going to go ahead then and add some of my beads. I'm going to use blue beads for this particular example. Sometimes the beads is actually the trickiest part of the whole process, just lining up the holes. If you're using bigger blades, you want to use more beads. For this example, I'm just going to use three. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that smile blade on the top. With slow deaths, you want to use a very light spinner if you're going to use any at all because you're going at slow speeds. Often, uh, those bigger blades don't want to turn very well in slow speeds. I'm going to trim off a little bit of this tail here. And there I have my rig. So all I have now is the rig and it just needs the overhand knot at the top which creates the loop that you attach to the bottom bouncer or whatever you're using. To do that it's an overhand knot. I simply bring the line back over itself so it's like double up and then from there you just make a loop. Bring that through the loop always wet my knots and there it should be a perfect overhand knot. Go ahead there, trim a little bit of the excess off the tail and that right there is a slow death rig with a smile blade. These are often can be very deadly uh, for walleyes and other species and I usually make my leaders around three feet. 
Uh, if you use really long leaders, they tend to drag in the mud. I'm Chris Husted, and that's your Review Gear Tip of the Week.